So I have a metal here which is burning and what's coming out is a metallic oxide. We want to see whether this metallic oxide is acidic or basic or neutral in nature. Let's figure out how to do that. So when metals burn, they undergo combustion. In other words, they react with oxygen to form what is known as metal oxides. Even when you look at the combustion reaction, it's simply metal plus oxygen giving rise to some metallic oxide. So in this experiment, we want to figure out whether these metallic oxides are acidic or basic or neutral in nature. For that purpose, we will be taking magnesium ribbon. We will be taking blue litmus paper and red litmus paper. We'll be using test tubes to burn the metal and hold the oxides which are formed. And we'll be using a little water to form a solution in order to carry out our test. So let's begin with the procedure. I'll first put some safety on my eyes because magnesium is going to burn with some flames. And then Okay, we already have a test tube attached here. So let's put magnesium in these tongs. Next, let's put fire to our spirit lamp. We have a small one. So now it's burning. So here we have it burning. And we just have to collect all these ashes on the test tube. Let it burn. And let's pour all these ashes in the test tube. Let us now take some amount of water and let's put it in this to form a solution. Finally, Let's remove this test tube and stir it. Now we have magnesium hydroxide solution available with us. So what has happened here is you took magnesium, you burnt it, it underwent combustion. It formed magnesium oxide, which was the ash that was visible to you. And when you put water into that ash, it formed magnesium hydroxide solution. And now we want to see whether this solution is acidic or basic. So for that, we will carry out our litmus test. So let me take a test tube stand and put it. Or let's peel a blue litmus first. Let's put the blue litmus into the solution and see what happens. So we needed more water ideally, but as you can see, there has been no color change in the litmus paper here. Let us now take a piece of red litmus and do the same thing. Let's bring it close to the solution. As you can see, there is borderline blue on the edges of the litmus paper, which means Red litmus has changed its color to blue. So blue litmus remained unchanged, whereas red litmus changed to slightly blue in color. What does this indicate? This indicates that this particular solution is basic in nature because only basic solutions turn red litmus to blue and leave blue litmus paper unchanged. So indeed it tells us that magnesium oxide which was formed was basic in nature only because of that its solution was basic in nature. 
So what we can conclude from this experiment is metallic oxides are basic in nature. Thank you for watching.